Hi Gemini, welcome back to Her Like Cosmic Tarot. I am Kamisha and I am here for your reading today. I am sorry that it's taken me so long to get this video out. Um, I've been under the weather and so has my family. Um, so please, please, um, I, I thank you for your patience and um, sticking with me. Um, I also, <clears throat> I had some messages for you. I did a pre-shuffle meditation for you guys. Um, and I'll talk about that after the prayer. And um, I just want to say thank you again because you guys have been sticking out, sticking it out with me. Um, I am coming to you as of now with this little setup because I still look unwell. So I don't want to scare you guys off, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, yes. So here's the prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the collective of Gemini. Thank you for giving us the highest messages for our greatest good. Thank you for giving us um, assistance on our journey throughout life as we need it. Thank you for always encouraging us and giving us the best advice. Thank you forever and always. Amen. Okay, so for your... I'm going to also be shuffling while I am you know talking to you throughout the reading because i've been you know it's been coming to me better the messages come better while i'm shuffling so the premeditative message was um you're going through something bittersweet or you're about to go through something that's bittersweet <laughs> as i put your yeah okay okay so you have the nine of pentacles the eight of cups and messages for Gem gemini sun rising and venus i hope you guys can see that i hope you had um a nice valentine's day if you celebrate one more just to hone it in okay one more Holy Spirit. oh that's a lot one more holy spirit one more holy spirit the strength card and the five of wands wanted to come out so there's some kind of a conflict yep within like a relationship this is the two of cups so i hope that is in frame I'm push it over just a wee bit okay yeah 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 okay okay so i'm I'm getting something to the effects that this is about a relationship. Um, it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just popped out and fell to the ground. Yeah. This is about a breakup. I have the Nine of Pentacles here, which is my single person's card. So, um... This is about a relationship where someone walked away. Um, someone walked away because things were unclear. Um, it's almost as if you, you were the sturdy one in the connection. You were the one that brought in... Um, I'm not going to say the successes, but you were the one that made the connection. And I don't like to say that, but it's almost as if you stabilize the connection. This is like a theme that has been going on and on with the readings. I'm getting a lot of people walking away from relationships because they are not being met halfway. And this is no different. Oh, and as that, I said that the moon just jumped yeah because there's a lot of secrets 
a lot of um, things that are done in the dark. And um, it's not, you know, it's hindering the relationship. Yeah. Ten of Wands, very burdensome. It's like, oh, and, and it's, it's like, I feel like some of you have been in relationships for a very long time with these people. And it's like you have built so much, so much that came from yourself and so much just within the connection that it's like, it's, it's getting to be too much. Yeah, it's getting to be too much to handle. And you're like always faced with a decision um, or whether you want to continue to provide in this, in this connection. I'm also seeing that, um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody walked away. A King of Wands figure, um, Aries Leo Sag. Somebody walked away from you or somebody turned their back on you. Um, they could have thought that things were better on the other side, whether, you know, it's within another connection. Um, they thought they were going towards the right way. Um, as you see the constellations up here, um, they thought they were following essentially the North Star, the, you know, the, um, essentially they were on a different path because they thought that that was gonna bring them success. Um, and it's like, I don't know, it, it, it's like, they thought that, because I'm looking at this Eight of Cups here, there's these Eight of Cups here, and there are um, little to none of the water in here, so he's going to that, to that um, water hole. Um, this person, this person may, I don't know if they're toxic or not, or they bring out, um, things that make you unbalanced. This person, um, left and left you out in the cold. Maybe they thought that they were going towards that um their north star in order maybe they're doing that in order to heal from something um maybe they're confused i'm not sure i see this shadowy effect here so i feel like some of you are dealing with somebody who has um they're dealing with their shadow side and um it may be affecting the relationship it may be um, what caused this. This keeps jumping out like crazy. The Five of Pentacles being left out of the cold. It, it, it's like, you know, it's maybe they, they were essentially saying like, oh, they had an epiphany. And it's like, oh, um... So yeah, this person, you know, could have had that epiphany that they needed to heal themselves in the connection. And it's not that they weren't, you know, into you or anything like that, because I'm getting that they were. They just walked away because um, they needed healing or they needed to be balanced. As I'm, and I'm getting the page of wands here. She's looking back. As you can tell, I, you know, I usually um, read tarot in a story. And I believe that this, my spirit guides and the divine gives me messages through the cards as a story. Um, these jumped out just now. So, yeah, there was an, a realization, epiphany, a tower moment about, about toxicity. These just jumped. Yeah. 
um, like I said, it's I, I read it in a story. So this is you. You're in the Nine of Pentacles energy. Your person is here. And as you see the story, the story unfolds. And it's like they're looking back at you and they might be um, coming in to offer you an apology. Um, the page is about, yeah. This may be a soulmate connection. That's the Six of Cups. So they may be offering you an apology and saying that they want to work on things. But it seems as if you probably have your walls up or you're guarded here. Because <laughs> under the deck is because you're like afraid of any secrets or things that, you know, may be hidden and omitted. Okay. <clears throat> so as in the story, um, as the story unfolds here, um, I think that they're wishing for you guys to get back together. I'm not seeing that you guys are at the moment. I have to pull some more cards because here in the last card, this is, this is them looking back at you. You're looking here and, um, <clears throat> they're looking back at you. Why is this two of cups here? Holy Spirit, why is this two of cups here? It's like they're thinking about this love. Ooh, okay. No, one card, please. Holy Spirit. One or two cards. Holy Spirit. One or two cards, Holy Spirit. Oh, yep. Look. Because they want to offer you a new beginning in truth. This is the Four of Cups. And this is the Ace of Swords. So this hasn't happened yet as I was feeling. Under the deck is the wheel. They want this wheel to turn. And they want, you know, they're looking back. They probably gave you an apology or will be giving you an apology or explanation. And they want to offer you a cup, but you're un they're they're pretty sure that um you are definitely unsure or uncertain that uh you will accept this. Holy Spirit, um, what is the outcome for my Gemini's? What is the outcome? Okay, we have this King of Wands. What, else? what is this King of Wands going to do? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, uh, that, both of those cards jumped twice. Maybe even three times. One more card, Holy Spirit. What's the outcome? They want a new beginning with you. My King of Wands is a player player card um and it's just they're still they still they're still undecided or they still have their options open or they're still like i want all these things and i want this with you but um i just popped out so yeah, they're still, um, they want you and they want this with you, but they're still undecided. They still have their options open um, and they're still guarded. Their heart is guarded and they can't fully offer this two of cups to you. You see this? The nine of wands, I'm not sure if you can see it, is directly above the two of cups. So their heart is guarded and they cannot offer you a new beginning and truth as they want to or as they say it's it can't happen because if they're guarded and there's still secrets there's no way but it's up to you guys if if they come back in and you're willing to put up with that i mean it's your it's it's your call but the cards are showing me that this person is it hasn't really transformed i have no um 
I have no transformed cards. There's no full from transformation. And I know I only pulled a few, but I've been shuffling the deck and there's there's no transformation cards that have popped out at all. So this person to me have has not um healed, has not, you know, opened up their heart. They're still in the same space. I have no doubt that they um love you and you guys are possible soulmates, but they're they're still in the same energy. They're still in the player energy. The 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 king of wands next to the seven of cups is player energy. I don't care what anybody says. They're it's it's a player energy. It's a player energy. And um if it's not a player energy, it's an indecisive. I don't know what I want. My options are still open. They're still like um non-committal so you may be together but there if you want anything that's um sturdy and substantial you're not getting it um as far as pentacles mm -mm. you're the only pentacle on the board here you're the sturdy one you bring the stability there's no stability in this connection look that just flew out when i said you are the sturdy one yes Ten of Pentacles, you bring your own sturdiness. You bring your own um, gain. This person, no. They are very wishy-washy. I'm sorry. I'm telling it like it is. They love you, no doubt about it. But they, they have their shadow side. They haven't been transformed or healed. And, and you're just going to keep going around and around with the same things until... Um, if this is either you or them until you're healed, <clears throat> yeah. So, Gemini, that was your reading. I hope that this resonated, and I will see you in March. Bye.